In this free CAD tutorial, you learn how to create this shape. Let's create a sketch in the Part Design Workbench first. Click on the XY plane to start sketching on. Select the Centered Rectangle tool so you can start drawing on the origin. Click on the origin and drag the mouse. Enter 50mm and press the Tab key. Enter 50mm again and press the Enter key to apply. The sketch is already fully constrained. Click on Close to exit the sketch. Now select the Pad feature. Instead of one, select two dimensions here. Enter 40mm for the first distance and enter 30 millimeter for the second distance. To make shapes with angles, you can add tapered angles to both extrusions. Enter five degrees for the first extrusion of 40 millimeter. And enter 10 degrees for the second extrusion of 30 millimeter. You can also enter negative numbers to flip the angle to the inside. Here you see what that looks like. Return to plus five degrees and click on OK to apply. Now click on the top face and select the thickness feature. Enter a thickness of two millimeter. One side is open now, but the inside has rounded edges here. Change the join type to intersection to make all inside edges sharp. Consider subscribing if you like my content. Thanks. So the other side is not open yet. To do this, click on select and then on the face. Now both end faces are selected as you see here. Click on OK to apply the thickness. Now both sides are open. By double-clicking on the Thickness feature, you can easily change the wall thickness. So, tapered extrusions can be fun to play with and can create these kinds of shapes. You might want to check out my 3D printing channel for more tutorials and projects.